Hello everyone, for this video, we're going to talk about midpoint formula. So first, what is our learning target for this video? I can solve problems and prove theorems related to midpoint formula. And of course, we have here our guide question first. What is the formula for the midpoint of a segment? Next, how do we determine the midpoint of a segment? And lastly, what is the advantage of using the analytic geometry in establishing the proof of a theorem? Okay, so we have here midpoint formula. So first of all, what is this midpoint formula? So what's the purpose of this? So actually, this midpoint formula would tell you what would be the coordinates that would represent the midpoint of uh, the two points or the midpoint of the given segment. So what would be that formula? So let's say for example we do have two points A and B. So these are of course in our coordinate plane. Then to find the midpoint of our segment AB then what you are going to do is just simply get x sub 1 plus x sub 2 divided by 2 and for y intercept you just simply Add the y sub 1 and y sub 2, of course, divided by 2. Okay, so for our activity, find the coordinates of the midpoint of segment IQ. For I is negative 8, 0, and Q is 16, negative 24. And I have here already our formula to find the coordinates of the midpoint. And now, I'm going to name the midpoint M. Okay, so we have here, um, I told you before in our previous topic, better if we're going to determine first where is our x sub 1, x sub 2, so that we will not get confused. So this will be our x sub 1, this will be our y sub 1, and this would be our x sub 2, this would be our y sub 2. And now we can now proceed with our substitution. So we have here, so... Again, I name the midpoint as letter M. So, M and then I'm gonna copy X sub 1. Our X sub 1 is negative 8. Added with our X sub 2, which is 16. Then, all over 2. And for our Y sub 1, we do have a 0. And for our Y sub 2, we do have negative 24. And all over 2, of course. So we have here next is, of course, we are going to process first all the values in our numerator. So we have negative 8 plus 16, this would be 8, all over 2. And 0 plus negative 24, we do have negative 24, all over 2. Okay, so lastly, let's simplify. So we have 8 divided by 2, that is 4. And negative 24 divided by 2 that is negative 12 and therefore the coordinates of our midpoint would be 4 negative 12 and we're done as easy as that okay for our next activity this would be with different scenario so here the midpoint is already given and the, the other endpoint is uh, missing and now, of course, we're going to stick with our general formula a while ago. So, to find the midpoint, supposedly, we would have H, and then X sub 1 plus X sub 2 all over 2. And for the Y-intercept, we would have Y sub 1 plus Y sub 2, 2 all over 2. But in this case, we would have, um, somehow, we would modify our formula. So, here since it's quite complicated if we're going to solve this all together in the format of our uh, midpoint formula so to find uh, let us do this one by one so first you need to separate the formula to find the x-intercept and you need to separate as well the formula to find the y-intercept and as you can see, we do have our midpoint already. And of course, let us determine first what are the given um, coordinates here. So for our endpoint A, so of course, let us consider this as, as our x sub 1 
and this 7 would be our y sub 1. We don't have our x sub 2 and y sub 2. Okay, but our midpoint is already given. Now, what we're going to do is, since we separated already the formula to find each coordinates, um, to be specific, we are going to look for x sub 2 and y sub 2. And as you can see here, aside from separating our formulas for x and y intercepts, I also equated it to the corresponding intercepts taken from our midpoints. So here, for our x-intercept, our um, x-intercept here in our given coordinates for midpoint is 2. So that is why I put here 2. And for our y-intercept, the uh, midpoint has negative 6 y-intercept. That is why here in our equation, I put negative 6 for the formula to get the y-intercept. And with that, let us start solving for this but of course let us focus with x sub 2 first so how are we going to find the x sub 2 so first and foremost of course we are going to substitute what else are the given data aside from the coordinates of the midpoint so we do have our x sub 1 to so substitute x sub 1 which is negative 4 then plus um, x sub 2 this is what we are going to find out later so just simply copy and next to that is, um, supposedly, we're going to combine all the values here in our numerators. And since we do have negative 4 and x sub 2, we cannot combine this because uh, they are the similar terms. Instead, the next step that we are going to do is let us isolate negative 4 plus x sub 2 or else cancel out the fraction form here. How? By simply multiplying both sides by the given denominator, which is 2, or else the LCD. And with that, we would have negative 4 plus x sub 2 all over 2 multiplied with 2 as well. So both sides of the equation. And with that, we can now cancel out here, the right side, both 2. And now, 2 times 2, we do have 4. And the remaining terms here at the right side would be negative 4 plus x sub 2. And as you can see, we do have here two constants. So we can combine these two. So we are going to do the shortcut. So let's transfer negative 4 to the left side and that would be positive 4 already. So x sub 2. And lastly, combine. So 4 plus 4, we do have 8. So x sub 2 now is... 8. Okay, next let's proceed with our y. So, same process, guys. Let's start with substituting our um, other details, and that would be y sub 1. So, our y sub 1 is 7 plus y sub 2 all over 2. So, just simply copy y sub 2 because we don't know yet. And this is what we are going to solve for. Okay, next, we cannot combine again 7 and y sub 2. Instead, let's isolate the right side so that we can have 7 plus y sub 2 only. And how are we going to do that? We're going to multiply again both sides by the denominator 2 or the LCD itself, which is, will be 2. So, multiplying it by 2 okay and of course we need to cancel this out that's our target and uh, next is 2 times negative 6 we would have negative 12 next the remaining terms would be 7 plus y sub 2 okay and of course let us combine like terms again so negative 12 and then the positive 7 will be combined with uh, negative 12 so this would be negative 7 already since we are going to transfer to the left side of the equal sign and uh, um, simply copy y sub 2 and lastly what is negative 12 minus 7 that is negative 19 and therefore we do have our y sub 2 already but of course here in our question we are asked to find out what is the coordinates of uh, point P, okay, or the other endpoint? So, of course, our final answer must be written 
this way. So, of course, we are asked to find out the coordinates of point P for the other endpoint. And now, since we do have our X sub 2 and X sub um, Y sub 2 already, let us just simply combine this. Let's make it coordinates. So, we do have 8 and negative 19. And therefore, we can say that we are done already. So, as simple as this. This would be our simple process to find the coordinates of the other endpoint given one endpoint and its midpoint. Okay. For our last problem, we do have if two points Q and C are endpoints of a diameter, what are the coordinates of the center of the circle? So, since we do have the given data here wherein we're going to talk about diameter of the circle and you are asked to find out the center of the circle so given a diameter if you are going to look for the center of the circle of course you need to look at the midpoint of the diameter itself and with that you're going to use the midpoint formula again and now since we do have our midpoint formula let us now identify our x sub 1 our y sub 1 and x sub 2 and y sub 2 so that it would be easier for us to substitute and to avoid uh, um, confusion or to over overlook some of the details now let's substitute this x sub 1 and x sub 2 and then y sub 1 and y sub 2 and of course let's simplify so negative 5 plus 5 it's a 0 and copy 2 for a while Negative 4 plus 14, it's positive 10, and copy 2 again for a while. And lastly, let's simplify further. 0 divided by 2, it's 0, and 10 divided by 2, it's 5. Therefore, the coordinates of the center of the circle given this points Q and C is 0, 5. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you learn about midpoint formula. Thank you.